Hello and welcome to Decision Group Incorporated's presentation on our Global Cooperation Programme on Cybercrime and Digital Forensics. Here you can see the contents of our presentation. Firstly, we will introduce you to our company, the service we provide and the cybercrime we aim to tackle before covering our comprehensive course on the investigation of cybercrime. Today, in our globalizing world, internet access is quickly becoming an indispensable tool for business, social media, and many other aspects of our society. As our lives begin to depend more and more heavily on computers and the internet, we become vulnerable to the exploits of opportunistic cyber criminals. Furthermore, due to the globalized nature of the internet, any number of criminals in any country around the world are waiting to steal your data, be that for corporate espionage, identity theft, or countless other crimes. Law enforcement agencies must therefore adapt to the unprecedented pace of technological change in our digital age. This has caused a growing tendency of law enforcement agencies to seek international cooperation as well as help from the private sector. Partnerships and delegations can be established thereby increasing cooperation between different parties, enabling improved private policing. This then provides mutual security advantages to all partners. The methods of this private security service can be determined by contractual terms and based upon the arrangements between private services and law enforcement agencies. Our program will establish a working group to explore methods of digital evidence acquisition online, enabling law enforcement agencies to more easily apprehend cyber criminals. The idea behind this program was envisaged following the enormous proliferation of cyber crime, thereby massively increasing the importance of digital evidence when combined with the rate of technological change. Additional solutions are required beyond those currently in place to help authorities obtain digital evidence in specific criminal investigations. The objectives of this program are to identify digital evidence, acquire digital data, forensically collect digital data, preserve digital data and produce a high quality report on cybercrime. You may ask yourself, how can I be further protected from cybercriminals? you can use eDetective for Network Packet Forensics. The objective of eDetective is to capture and reconstruct encrypted internet traffic from different websites and all app mobile applications through HTTPS protocol. The targeted internet traffic passes through a number of 10G or 40G links inside the telecom service provider's data center. Despite the fact links may come from multiple different sites, the network forensic system will actively and passively intercept HTTPS traffic from the above passing networks. It will then reconstruct and present the intercepted data in the proper predefined way. The network forensic system can help analyze all the intercepted data and generate an investigation report of the cyber criminal's actions based on the intercepted digital evidence. eDetective also provides consulting services. Why might you need these? Well, the internet is globally ubiquitous, meaning that national legal systems are often incapable of policing cybercrime. This is because it is usually impossible to pursue cybercriminals outside of the certain nation's borders and jurisdiction without global cooperation. As global legal systems become more and more ineffective, attention has turned towards promising technological support of transnational organisations. The complexity of modern ICT in terms of operation and maintenance means that it is growing increasingly difficult for law enforcement agencies to bring cyber criminals to justice. A window of opportunity is currently opening for you to work with us in enhancing legal frameworks and in so doing create a more orderly and just cyberspace in your country. There is a fight against perpetrators of cybercrimes who seek to obtain and use confidential data for their own ends, though it is a huge challenge for law enforcement and criminal justice alone. 
the proposal of this programme would be to help close the gaps in existing internet infrastructure which currently allow cybercriminals to go unnoticed. Practical issues exist but may be accommodated through the development of new technologies and solutions thereby allowing us to scrutinise workable procedures. Following this, consultants with related experience and skills will be considered for acquisition of evidence for the use in criminal proceedings. When an incident of cybercrime occurs in your country, you will need quick answers on the following questions. How did it happen? Who is the criminal? And what can you do? Our understanding of professional digital evidence procedures allows us to concentrate our efforts and deliver the workable solutions quickly and accurately. This efficiency has led to our experts being timelier and less expensive than all others. Our digital forensic investigation services include technical expertise by certified professionals and experience sharing of incident response. Our course is intended for analysts who conduct forensic investigation in law enforcement agencies. We offer training courses for cybercrime investigation in Taipei, Taiwan. The purpose of this program is to give all attendees a clear picture on the nature of cybercrime and how to conduct investigation on such crimes using new technology and procedures. Since cybercrime arose through the leap in development of telecommunication and information technologies, investigators must face new challenges which require totally different approaches and technical skills. We provide this training program not only with new technologies and skills, but we also provide case studies on methodologies used to solve cybercrimes by experienced cyber investigators. After taking this training program, attendees will know the basics of cybercrime, effective ways to investigate it, and most importantly, first-hand lessons from prior cybercrime investigations. All of our instructors are from the Central Police University and Crime Investigation Bureau of National Police Agency, Taiwan. The training program will be held in Taipei, Taiwan. The agenda is on Table 1. Here we have a timetable of the basic cybercrime investigation course in Taipei. On the first day of your arrival, a bus will take you to your hotel. After you have settled in, we will hold a reception followed by a visit to Taipei 101, the tallest skyscraper in Taipei, where you can get great views of the city. After this, we will dine at a certified halal food restaurant before you retire to your hotel. On the first day of the course, you will be given a thorough introduction to the lawful interception of data by decision group, followed by a visit to Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. The second day of the course will cover the nature of the telecom network, and in the afternoon, a visit to the Criminal Investigation Bureau Technology Center of the National Police Agency. The morning of the third day of the course, Guest speakers will cover cross-border crimes, internet fraud, communication, law and procedure, and international data leakage. Questions are welcome, of course. In the afternoon, this will be followed by a panel discussion hosted by the Central Police University of Taiwan. On all of the days of the course, there will be intermittent coffee breaks, as well as lunch and dinner provided at certified halal food restaurants. On your final day, as it's time to relax, we will visit the beautiful Yangwenchang National Park to the northeast of Taipei, a stunning dormant volcano covered in lush forests with valleys, ridges, hot springs, streams and waterfalls, all easily accessible on footpaths. In the evening, we will have a farewell dinner party once again at a certified halal food restaurant, and we hope that you enjoy your time with us. Here we have our training courses for advanced network packet forensic analysis in your country. Network packet forensic analysis training provides sufficient knowledge to students on most common internet protocols such as HTTP, IM, email, telnet, video streaming and VOIP. Collection and capturing of network packets, analyzing and reconstructing of the network packets containing these protocols solution implementation and application as well as some practical case studies. 
Here we have our final training course, Advanced Cybercrime Investigation in Your Country. This program does not cover prevention and protective measures against cybercrime, instead it centres on bringing effective justice to criminals following an incident. We must live in a world where preventative measures and criminal justice at all levels are complementary. Proposed strategies will remain within the scope of the training course, which covers specified data within specific cybercrime investigations. Here we have an overview of the course we provide in advanced cybercrime investigation in your country. Initially, we will cover digital forensics and investigation. This module covers the methodology of investigation and the technologies used for forensic analysis. This will be followed by digital evidence and computer crime, a module that covers the basics of digital forensics, how to conduct a digital forensics operation, cybercrime law and criminal apprehension how to recover digital evidence from a variety of OS and the basics of network packet forensics. The next module is on the role of certified cyber forensics professionals. It covers legal and ethical principles, investigations, forensic science, digital forensics, application forensics and hybrid and emerging technologies. Our next module, entitled The Cybercrime and Cyberterrorism Investigator's Handbook, covers the fundamental aspects of cybercrime and cyberterrorism from a practitioner's perspective. Key case studies related to cybercrime and cyberterrorism, as well as a contem contemporary topics in the context of cyberterrorism and cybercrime. The entitled <coughs> Certified Ethical Hacker covers attacking systems along with related hacking methods and a written test to clarify the understanding on how to hack ethically and what it means to hack ethically. The penultimate module is called Computer Hacking Forensics Investigator. <clears throat> it covers computer forensics and investigation, operating systems, and application programs, as well as cybercrime investigation. The final module, called Cybercrime Digital Forensics and Jurisdiction, summarizes the fundamentals of cybercrime, computer systems as targets, computer systems as tools, content and related offenses, and piracy, security, and crime control. Cybercrime is the greatest threat to many internet users Digital offenders always seem to be one step ahead of law enforcement agencies and digital defence systems such as antivirus, firewall and intrusion detection software. We hope to help law enforcement agencies to protect societies worldwide from the threat of cybercrime by helping foster international technical cooperation against cybercrime. The purpose of these programmes is to facilitate an exchange of views on current and emerging challenges faced by criminal justice authorities to seek the cooperation of industry and other stakeholders on cybercrime investigation solutions. Such solutions may vary from practical measures and documentation of good practices to guidelines or a binding protocol on cybercrime. It is our sincere hope that we can cooperate with each other further to ensure a safer future. Thank you for listening and please feel free to message us with any questions.